Kim, the jewel in the crown of India, finds her origin in the Pau Hungry Mountains, where Rangnu and Rangit, born from the lakes, decided to travel the valleys. Rangnu, guided by the serpent, travelled from the north, and Rangnit, guided by the rooster, travelled from the west. Rangnit reached the bottom of the mountains to his surprise to find Rangnu waiting for him. He expressed, Tisata, or when did you arrive? With the frustration and anger of reaching late, he drowned all that he could see between the two of them, till the tip of Dendong Hill, where a lecha man and woman with other animals were praying to Rangneet to spare them. This was the beginning of the new beautiful world, or Sikkim, a land blessed by the mountain gods. As the experience was amazing for me, I was saying it the first time in my life and it was worth to come here to see this because um, it's a great culture which you can see in a very pure version. The modern history of Sikkim starts here at Yuksam, which means the meeting place of three wise men. It was at this holy place in 1641 that three lamas consecrated the first Chogyal or religious king of Sikkim. Many years later, during the beginning of 18th century, the king shifted his capital here at Rabdanse. One can still see history in the stones of the ruins.
close by is Pemayanse, the monastery born from the mountain lotus. Established in 1705, at a height of 6,840 feet, the three days charm or mask dance is a yearly event, celebrating the victory of good over evil. I always feel where I should go. So I listen carefully to my heart. And once my heart said that it's time to go to Sikkim, to visit Sikkim land. And I came here. People and pilgrims assemble here with the faith that any wish made here comes true. Experience the legends of West Sikkim at the Wishing Lake or Kecheperi, though surrounded by dense forests, yet it is crystal clear and is believed that even if a leaf falls, a small bird will pick it up and fly away. It is now time for the Bumcha festival at Tashiding, the biggest event of the Himalayan Agrarian Society. Encounters with the people of West Sikkim will reveal that there is the confluence of several religions and beliefs. <laughs> But all of them find their God in nature, the ultimate religion of biodivinity.
The strength of West Sikkim lies in her villages and the deep-rooted traditions of local communities. West Sikkim is the ideal destination for adventure seekers looking forward to pump the adrenaline in land, air and water. Trekking in the land of snow, red panda and rhododendron, along the Singalila Ridge in Barsi and Zongri, are most popular activity both among visitors and locals. The helicopter mountain flights is probably the best way to get close to the snow-capped mountain ranges of Kanchanjunga and get a glimpse of the rich green mountain valleys. Any corner of West Sikkim is ready to welcome guests and touch the heart of every visitor through their warmth, hospitality and participation. Should I try it? Okay. Okay, I'll try it. West Sikkim is a magnificent place, actually, very uniquely different compared to the other parts of India and also the nature is very majestic, so I've very much enjoyed.
Standalone village lodges, visitor day centers, and authentic homestays are the ecotourism infrastructure strengths of West Sikkim, which have today empowered the local youths economically and ecologically. Sikkim is the melting pot of diverse Himalayan cultures like Rai, Limbo, Mangar, Gurung, Bhotia, Sherpa, Lepcha, Tamang, Chetri, Newars, etc. With the rich Himalayan biodiversity and divine mountain forces making this a unique destination. <laughs> <laughs> Engage in some modern cultures at the farewell campfire overlooking the twinkling city lights of neighboring Darjeeling. West Sikkim is the most beautiful place I've ever been in my life. The mountains, the forests, uh, rivers, everything has just a mystical and magical uh, feel to the entire place. <laughs> Jaja Gurna lay up for a tanda